I'm John, and tonight I want answers about the Mars landing and pictures of Iceland and the anniversary of the World Wide Web. There's no stopping us now because we're live. John wants answers. John wants answers. Give John answers. Give John answers. John wants answers. John wants answers. Give John answers now. Check your calendar. If it says August 9th, 2012, then you're watching us live. My guest tonight is Keith Statenfield. I want, I want associate producer credit. You do? Yeah. When did this come up? Just now. now. Just, just now. now. You just thought of it now? Just now. Keith is a host of Keith Explains, also on this channel, Wednesdays at 8.30. Uh, yeah. Uh, he's my guest tonight because he's a news junkie, history buff, philosophy major, and part of the 98%. Yes. Just barely. <laughs> really? No, not oh, really. Okay. No, it's, I mean, 15%. Uh, if you've never seen the show before, this is like a courtroom drama. It's not. I'm the prosecutor. No, My guest is the expert witness. Yes. And you at home yes. and in the audience are the jury. And it's your job to convict or acquit the topics. So we have the verdict from last month's episode. Um, last month we had uh, the topic of being gay. So, Mr. Foreman, has the jury reached a verdict on being gay? We have. In the matter of being unnatural, how do you find? We find being gay not guilty. In the matter of being fabulous, how do you find? We find being gay guilty. The show thanks you for your service. You are dismissed. <laughs> all right, so. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm all confused. <laughs> You're the prosecutor. Yes. You shouldn't have been reading that. I've seen a lot of Law and Order. That's not the prosecutor's job. I, That's I'm, the judge's job. I'm acting as a proxy for the judge. Prosecutors don't get to act as proxies for the judge. There's this, as, well, That's I'm the, wrong. I'm the producer, so it has a I dual don't think roles. you're even the producer. <laughs> that part's true. We'll be taking your tweets. We will. Yeah. So uh, during the show, you can send us a tweet to John wants answer. There's no S on the end because trailing S's mean you suck. And we don't. So if you send us a tweet uh, during the show on our topics, we will read them later and we will answer your questions. And we have a Twitter contest. Be the first to tweet in and say you want a headshot. And then I will make up a new headshot because I've run out. And I will sign it. Dear listener slash viewer, thanks for listening slash viewing. Love, John. Go to see us on the internet. Go to johnwantsanswers.com where you can find our other episodes. Unless they're not watching this live, in which case they've already gone. Yeah, they can to go John again. Johnwantsanswers.com. You can go anytime. It's open 24 hours. Like us on Facebook. Go to Facebook com and look for John Wants Answers and like us. That's the only way I know anyone's watching this. I miss the thumbs down on Facebook. They never Remember had. They used down. to have thumbs down. They did. I think so. They had like and dislike. Well, they just called them thumbs up and thumbs down. This show cannot be made possible without the continuing contributions of our executive producers, Lisa Tamaki <laughs> and Tamaki. Brian Westfall. Yeah, we got a memo. It's, we were pronouncing it wrong. Yeah. They were said they would withhold funding in the future if I kept on my shenanigans. Yeah. In addition so we, to... We feel bad. Lisa Tamaki, we have other Tamakis here. We have my mother-in-law, June Tamaki, and her sister, Mary Mahara. <laughs> and my parents are here, too. We have uh, John Vink. Same name as me. My father and his wife, Lolly. Lovely Lolly. Hello, Lolly. Here's what I don't get. If your mother in law was named Tamaki, how did you not know how to pronounce the producer's name? <laughs> I also do not know how to pronounce my mother in law's name. Oh, okay. So you've just been calling her the wrong name for years. That's. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes more sense knowing you. <laughs> I blame two things. Yes, the, for your Canadian upbringing. Being and Canadian, it's an accent. And. My uh, text-to-speech on my computer would always say her name when I got new mail from my wife. 
and it would say Tamaki. Tamaki. So I learned this. I learned wow. through hearing it Tamaki. Anyways, we're getting sidetracked here. Um, my favorite review of the show. Not the best review. My favorite review. I can't believe I am watching this. <laughs> that is from Joe Azure. You remember him from uh, last year? Azure. You have a problem with last names. Are you sure that's it? You know him? No, but he used to work that's at Apple. Azure. That's how you'd pronounce it. Okay. It's got a Z in it. Not a Z. Our first topic, Mars landing. Where okay. does that music come from? There's I mean, speakers in there are the people sky. up in the ceiling with no, pianos? It's, no, it's pre-recorded. Oh. Um, it's less impressive that way. We just landed something on Mars. Well, what's this we, we as in we humanity? As in, I mean, we had little to do with it. You and I, yes. Personally. Um, but like, was NASA? Is this a NASA thing? Mostly. So it's a, an American, America. We're Americans. Well, I am. Amer You're American-ish. <laughs> So America landed something on Mars. Yes. What did we land? What did we call it? Uh, well, it's called a couple things. The rover itself is called Curiosity. Okay. And it has the Mars Science Lab, which is all the science equipment on it. Uh -huh. And I guess you could claim that there was a sky crane that also landed there because after it gently deposited the rover there, right, it flew off and then plummeted. It so it landed, <laughs> not as not as nicely <laughs> as, as the rover. Items, right? uh, and then there was like a he front heat shield and a back heat shield, which both I assume landed mm -hmm. again quickly and somewhat violently. How's and then there's a big parachute that I assume is somewhere on Mars. How's gravity in Mars compared to Earth? It's nice. Gravity's nice. Or compared to Earth, is it stronger or it's weaker? It's like two thirds or oh, okay. three. I mean, it's not. So probably landed nicely, nicely. No, no, it still hit really hard. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Big boom, I'm sure. The parachute. I'm I'm amazed about this parachute because yes. there's no atmosphere on Mars, right? Yes, is there it is. One percent of what we have here. No, like twenty percent. Oh, twenty percent. Yeah. Okay, so it's not. Yeah, you couldn't breathe. You couldn't breathe there. Yeah. Well, it's also carbon dioxide. There's a little oxygen. Yeah. Okay, so the parachute had enough air to be a parachute. To slow down. Slow yeah. down. Not enough. So what does this Mars rover lander Curiosity do? What's its purpose in life? Uh, it drives around and looks for signs of life and water and rocks. Okay. Well, we know there are rocks yeah. there. Now but we, we're going to confirm it. I remember we landed something on Mars like 15 years ago or something, right? 1997. 97. Yeah. The Sojourner Truth okay. landed, drove uh -huh. around for a couple months, took a bunch of pictures. And like four or five years ago, we had Spirit and Opportunity, smaller rovers. Oh, so also we... landed and drove around for a while. We're plopping stuff on Mars all the time. All the time. Why do we keep on plopping new stuff? In 1976, down? we landed like Voyager, not Voyager, Viking there. Viking. So what is this new thing going to give us that the old things didn't? Uh, better pictures. And higher this megapixels. one's more designed to look for previous signs of life, microbial and etc. How that, how's that going to help us? Um, Are we planning to like make the houses and condos on Mars? Eventually. First, but we have to discover oil there. Yeah. I can't imagine our lifetime we'd be doing this. Well, it depends on how long you're going to live. Are you going to live to be 175 years old? I'm guessing no. I don't think you need to worry about condos on Mars then. I think I've got 40 good years left, Each. if you know what I mean. Yeah, and then followed <laughs> by eight crappy ones. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Um, are we just throwing money away at doing Not this? Not really. No. no, I mean, it's it's a stunningly low. It's like $2.8 billion. That's a lot of money. We spend more fondling people in airports every okay. year. <laughs> but like the moon landing. Alleged moon landing. Let's say alleged <laughs> moon landing. I mean... I mean, we're not, you know, sending shuttles to the moon all the time now, so we didn't really get enough technology out of that. But we did get a lot of technologies... Out of the moon landing. A lot of the computer industry is built on things we learn. Fair amount of it, yeah. So are we learning new stuff by sending crap to Mars? Yes, all the time. You don't say that in a way I should believe you. No, that's true. It's true. It's I mean, true. We're, we're going to learn stuff. stuff. Yeah. We're going to yeah. learn more than $2.8 million worth of stuff. So the pictures we're getting back are only two megapixels, I heard, because the bandwidth from here to Mars is terrible. It's not that terrible. I heard they, they, they have two megabits up from 
the thing on the ground you know what's really to the bad? things orbiting Mars. The latency is really horrible. Yeah, yeah, it's like eight minutes. No, I think it's even worse because Mars is on the other side of the sun. So I heard it's like, you know, 16 minutes or something. Well, sometimes. Yeah. Like right now it's, well, right now it's 14 minutes. 14 minutes yeah, now? Yeah, 14 minutes. So we're seeing the past. Well, we're always seeing the past. We're seeing even here in this room. We're seeing the past. <laughs> we're seeing. I don't want to blow your mind or anything, but you could be a brain in a jar. <laughs> in which case, you wouldn't be Canadian, because you'd be in a jar. Okay. All right. Um, our next topic: pictures of Iceland. So I wasn't going to do this. Um, but I asked my fans, my legions of fans on the Facebook, who have liked me. Do you know what a legion is? <laughs> Under 100 people? Do you <laughs> think there are that many fans on Facebook? I have under 100 fans on Facebook. Yes. Well, um, anyways, I'm asking people what my topic should be for tonight. And they yes. said Mars landing. And okay. a lot of people said Iceland. Because they knew I had taken pictures in Iceland. So I'm going to show, I'm not going to bore you too much, because no one likes watching people's home videos and stuff. I got five photos I'm going to show you quickly of Iceland. Our first photo, this is a blue looking lake. And there's uh, rock clouds, there's rock. This is near the Blue Lagoon, the famous and Blue Lagoon in Iceland. Mountains. This is all like hot water, hot steamy. Is Brook Shield just off to one side? No. <laughs> this is near Rang Harpstrada in Iceland. Uh, next photo, this is where the hot water goes to a power plant. There's like a thermal power plant they have. Yeah. Then the hot water, when it's done there, goes straight into the ocean. And so now you can see all this water in front. It's green. Yeah. This is near Svunheitmula. Our next photo. This is a big field uh, of lupins. Those are the flowers. They're everywhere. So yeah. Icelanders are worried that all their soil is being eroded. So they gave all the tourists seeds of lupins to throw around everywhere in Iceland. Yes. And things kind of got away from them. <laughs> and now they have way too many lupins, and they can't stop them, and they're everywhere. So there's some lupins. They're pretty. A nice little village in the background. This is near Stop and Grow. Our next photo. You realize Icelanders are just making crap up when they tell you what the names of their cities are. Yeah. They're like, I'm going to get seven J's <laughs> in the next one I tell a tourist. I'm going to see if I can get them to write it down. These are some uh, puffins I saw on the coast. Uh, near Mal Friesling. What are their names? Uh, Bob, Tommy, and Corten. Yeah. Cor Corten. Yeah, I think that's because the tourists couldn't make up funny names for puffins fast yeah. enough. And our last photo is uh, this cool little waterfall. Uh, I went to climb through the, some sheep trails. Iceland's covered in sheep. They let the sheep roam freely. Sir like, I would not free. talk about seeing sheep on vacation, John. And this is near. Happen Black Sprig to Pen Trapsland. See? <laughs> the names of city okay. are crazy there. Like someone, you try... someone won $4 by getting you to write that down. <laughs> As you try and pronounce a name of a city, like you're halfway through and it's so complicated you forgot the start Where of you what started. you started. Yeah, no, no, talking. that's you. That's tourists. Okay. We're going to take a break now. When we come back, we're going to take your tweets and we're going to do something special with Keith. And we're going to talk about the anniversary of the World Wide Web. Okay. So stay watching. Or, or don't. It's not a, it's, if you've got something better to do. We're, we're already off the air. Oh. Yeah. Well, okay. Still, they might have something better to do. <laughs> are you convincing my, my people who are watching the show to, to not change the watch channel? the show? To stop watching? Why, yes. Yes, apparently I am. That's not what I hired you for. <sighs> wow. I'm getting old, you know. I'm, I'm turning 40 tomorrow. Really? Big 4 -0. It's all over. Well, it's half over from there, right? More than half, really. You're, you're very old compared to me. Yes. Um, so you know what I have to look forward to. Yes. I've already been experiencing I, I've, this. I've explained the hair and the ears thing, right? Um, yeah. I've been, you'll just wake up one day and you'll be like, what the heck is this? And it'll be a hair growing out of your ear. Usually it's not so much as me waking up and noticing it. It's my wife telling me, Hey, you gotta cut those Thing. hairs you gotta off. Cut those. You're falling apart. You gotta do something with your head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and do you make noise in the morning when you get out of bed? 
Like when you put your feet on the floor and stand up, do you make this like an oof noise? Oof? Not really like an oof. Uh, more like an uh. Yeah, yeah. more uh yeah. than yeah. oof. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, it just gets worse. And then I say, hey, dog. Because there's a dog sleeping in the corner of the bed usually. Wow. We've started to close the door and keep the cats out. Yeah. Because we realize they don't actually love us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm and sure they just want to bother us while we're sleeping. Your cats don't love you. Oh, wait. I think we, we're coming back. Or... And we're back! And we're going to take your tweets. I should have checked during the break if uh, any tweets came in. So yeah, I'm going to check right a now. a couple did. Hey, we have something. Yeah. Oh, we have... We, oh, I love this. This is awesome. So I haven't read this yet. This is from Gay, 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 Gay. This is our fan. Our fan. Um, oh, I knew Rachel. Remember Rachel? Rachel. Rachel Rattan. I want a headshot, please. Oh, that's awesome. She wants a headshot. She can put it on her dartboard and, and fap to it? I'm not sure what fap means. I'll, I think I'll she wants to like throw darts at me. Tell my... you later. Okay. So we'll have to get her address and mail her off a, uh, a headshot. Okay. Um, next we have from Interspatial. This got up online. Did you hide something on Curiosity? I did not hide anything on Curiosity. No, Let's but I think, I, think you could, I typed my name in a web page and they put it in a, like a CD on um, Curiosity. So my name is on Mars. Oh, wow. Cool. And I helped Sanford with a bug. And the he Sanford said he was going to put my name in the code. Sanford program in a comment. The Mars. But of course, in comments comment, don't make they're, it. They're optimized out. They're, yeah. You're yeah. not on Mars. Um, Rachel again says, there are two people on your live stream. I am one of them. Instead of this show, just hang out in the cafe and talk to each other. Hi, Rachel. <laughs> I guess they will go to a coffee shop where she found our card probably. And we'll talk about the things we should have said here. Interspatial says, do you have an audience tonight? Yes. Can we're you hear the laughter? Audience. We have a huge audience. Yay. <laughs> Woo. Incredible. It's going to be very expensive for you this time. Oh, wow. Rachel's going crazy on the tweets here. Yeah. The moon landing is not alleged. Yeah. It's not alleged, man. Get educated. <laughs> and sniff my mouth. I don't know what that means at all. Um, again, I'll, she I'll says. E I'll explain that to you later, too. <laughs> Prove that you aren't naked under your table. We're going to do that later. We have a thing where we're going to actually show that we're not naked underneath our, the desk. I'm wearing, I'm wearing khaki shorts, so they're vaguely skin colored. No one gives a smurf about your vacation pictures. No. Exactly. That's what I thought. So I, was, I wasn't sure I wanted to show the vacation photos. That's usually boring. Did you violate all these nah, on your... Nah. See? No. The answer to that is no. Not, a, <laughs> not all of them. So sheep run wild in Iceland. So the farmers have these pens. Yes. And the sheep are born in these pens. Yes. Then when they're like, you know, yay big. I don't know, even yay big. You can't see on TV probably. I'm saying yay big. They when they're lambs. Lose. They when they're tiny little lambs. Yeah. They put a little clip in their ear to tag yeah. them. Yeah. Open the gates. The sheep and their mom run. Across they wander Iceland. Iceland for months, like six months on their own. They just walk across the entire country. And then cowboys come, like real cowboys, on, like horses. Yeah. With the Icelandic horses. The real cowboys come, herd all the sheep together after yeah. they spent all like six months or eight months, who knows how long. Eating out, lupins. Eating lupins and grass. Herd them all into pens. And from the tags, they divide them back up again and send them back to the original farmer. Yeah. And they make sweaters. And veal. Not veal. Lamb. <laughs> Lamb chops. <laughs> Mutton. Mutton is the word you're parents. thinking of. Pa the parents are mutton. Well, and the kids are lamb, right? Well, Yes. Okay. Uh, one more tweet. Now I'm the only viewer. Oh, you know Scott Canaster said he's going to view on well, the live stream. Scott right? lies Apparently a lot. he's not. No, we must be too, because we're getting interspatial tweeting us. I don't know. Maybe someone left. Uh, you, we suck and we are very old. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. All right. So we have something new. Yes. A new segment. John and Keith, get it on. This may have been an inappropriate title, given our tweets. Um, so I was in Iceland, and I came across two John Wants Answers fans. I'm not kidding you. I was in Iceland. Two big John Wants Answers fans were there. And they said... Did you tweet about being in Iceland? No, I never tweeted about that. There are people who I previously met. Okay. But I was in Iceland, and I met up with them again. And they said they had great this, ideas for the show. This doesn't count. They love the show, and they had some great ideas. One is... John and Keith 
should have contests every episode. Yeah. Some kind of physical like or skill contest? or my, some like wacky contest. Arm wrestling, like a Sylvester Stallone maybe, thing. Maybe. So I named the segment Don like and Keith Get It On. Pit of acid on each side. And so I thought for the first contest, we're going to weigh ourselves tonight. Yeah. Then at the next episode, we're going to weigh ourselves again. Yes. And see who see lost who, who gains the, most, the most. Lost the most weight. I think gains the most would be better. <laughs> well, I've seen you eat. I, yeah. I, yeah, that's why I think gains the most would be better. So the other one's hard. I brought a scale. Okay. And I brought an efficient. Does it read in, in kilograms? Uh, does both. Wow. How about so stones? Is our, that a stones measurement? The foreman, the jury foreman is going to officiate. Okay. And he's going to read the scale while we, we get weighed up here. Technically, this is medical data, so we're going to be violating HIPAA. <laughs> HIPAA? <laughs> okay. Just so you know. Are you ready? You need a pen? Okay. What do you think that says? 156. 156? Woohoo! Yeah. I used to be a lot a, heavier. You're a wiry guy. Okay. Okay, so mine says 156. <laughs> Look, right there, 156, so we're even. No, no, come on, come on. <sighs> okay, I'm going to say that's 220. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a wiry guy. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, there's a piece of cork on top of it, though. Watch, if I take that off. Ah, there we go. I weigh 140, just like in college. I'm sorry, the judge has ruled. All right, so. I, 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 he was a jury foreman yes. 20 minutes ago. And now he's also. And now he's a judge? This is not, not a judge. This he's is not efficient. how jurisprudence works. He's like a, a game show host or something. Okay, our next topic, anniversary of the World Wide Web. Are you sure that's not your friend Scott up in the, like, on the piano up there? He, no, it wasn't Scott who wrote this. It was our other friend, Timothy Drury. Oh. Yeah. He wrote that. How's he doing? He's touring with Don Felder, the guy from the Eagles. The guy from the Eagles. He worked on his album, Tim and, and now Don. they're touring together. Is it the Tim and Don show? It's just the Don oh. show. Yeah. Tim should get billing. Okay. How old is the World Wide Web? I think it's 17 years old or something. <sighs> You didn't do any research at all, did you? Uh, very little. No, no, let me subtract. Let me subtract. <laughs> 1989 to now would be 20... No, 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 no. no. Yeah. It's 21 uh, years. I'll tell you the answer. 21, 21 years. years. Yeah. So... That's what I was getting to. <laughs> 1989 to now no, is 20... No, No, that's 23 years. But 89, December, is when the guy had the idea. Yeah, yeah, that's when he had the idea. The first website then came out in 1991. <laughs> I don't know if you're the right I, expert for this. I'm not. Maybe you should get that jury guy. <laughs> oh, wait. All he knows about is Flash RAM. Yeah. So, some people confuse the internet with the World Wide Web. Yes. They're Many different. people. Many people. But they're different, aren't they? Yes. What is the World Wide Web and what is the internet? Well, there's really no good exact descriptions for either one. The internet is a network of networks. Mm-hmm. Um, generally, you would call these days the internet the worldwide network, which is addressable with IPv4 addresses. Yeah. Okay, you're losing uh, our Or audience. IPv6 addresses, maybe. God your... knows, someday, someday. Okay. Uh, it's a way for computers to talk to other computers, routers, and yada, yada, yada. Uh, the World Wide Web mostly is the notion that there's a name system which can get you to individual IP addresses, and then there's a program DNS. running on port 80 <laughs> on a lot of those computers that happens to speak HTTP I would have to stop you and right return there. HTML, perhaps. My executive producer has warned me that when you get off on a rail, I have to stop you. Okay. Um, so the World Wide Web basically is it's websites. Websites. So you go to yahoo.com or google.com, you type stuff in, and then you surf, yeah. and you go there and here. And that's just that is the web. Yes. Now the internet has other stuff you do on it, like yes, email, like email, and Twitter, is, and Twitter. Let's not forget Twitter, Twitter as a web interface. But the Twitter itself, I guess, is not, not. World Wide Web. Uh, file transfers, FTP, is not well, web. That's it's dead. Internet. So I'm using internet's old. It's been around since like the late '60s. Yeah, you yeah. could argue maybe the mid '70s. And uh, Al Gore, Al Gore invented it. He was it. a politician who approved the funding 
for the creation of the internet, did, actually. So he didn't actually invent it himself? No, no. No, he didn't claim to invent it himself. No, he never did. Okay. Um, Are we out of time? There's, th there's like four well, questions not, you forgot to ask. There's four questions? Well, you ran on about one of them. I'm sorry. Only four. There's what is not the, inter the internet, which yeah, we okay, talked okay, about. Okay, okay, we answered what that. Yeah. I didn't have a lot of questions. Who invented it? Tim Berners-Lee. Oh, yeah. Sir Tim. Tim. So he was... Uh, Guy he worked Cern, at CERN, he worked which at is CERN. A, he was a fellow. So CERN, you think would stand for, like, it's, it's French. French. So it, it doesn't stand like, for anything like lay you think round it's atoms high speed. I think is what it stands for. <laughs> no, it's only that now. Back then it was just like the nuclear something. Is nuclear something right? European research nuclear. Right. We're digressing. Um, so now he he got knighted in ninety four. He did. Um, the queen. The queen. And. He was in the Olympics. Not the opening as a, ceremony. Not, not, as, not as not as a not, not as a decathlon. Yeah, as an athlete. No, no. He was uh, he was type not that you saw it in America, because NBC cut away. No, no, they I saw that part. They cut away from the silence for the people who died oh, yeah, in the subway yeah. system. Yeah, they didn't know who he was though. Remember Meredith, whatever was like, we don't know who this guy is. <laughs> he was in this better notes inflatable NBC. house typing on a computer. Yeah. And they raised the house over his head, and you saw him. And he's yeah. tweeting. And he said, this is for all of you. Okay. I didn't watch the Olympics. Any of it? Nothing. Oh. I can't watch enough. I have Olympic fever. Wow. <laughs> you should have that looked at. I remember, during 1980, the Americans didn't go to the Olympics. That's correct. To protest Russia. Invading Afghanistan. Invading They're Afghanistan. Invading. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Afghanistan. Yeah. Yeah. Is Afghanistan in this year's Olympics? Turns out now we've invaded Afghanistan. Yeah, yeah. I wonder who didn't come to this Olympics. Oh, uh, I think um, my time is running up. I'm, I can see my Fortikers trying to shoot me. Yeah, see that gun jams a lot. Yeah. Remember last yeah. time I was trying to peg you smack in the middle of the face and was unable to? Whoa, did I just, did I almost get hit? Okay, our next show is on September 13th, 2012. 2012. So come back then. Perhaps. And we'll see you then. Perhaps if we talked about the topics more than 10 minutes early.